Hello everyone, I'm Marcelo and in this tutorial we will learn how to fill farms with the Power Automate Desktop. So we will use this form along this tutorial and to get the data uh, to input on the farm fields, uh, let's download the file from the RPA challenge. So I'll leave on the description of this tutorial the link to the RPA challenge and also to the form that we'll use. So here on the RPA challenge, by clicking on the download Excel button, we will get Excel file that has some of the data. So let's click here and we got our file. So let's open it. And here we can see that we have some rows and some columns. So looking now at our form, so the goal is for each row that we have here on our file, except the first line, the first row, that it's the column names. The idea is to insert so uh, the values of the row on the form field. So insert the first name on the first name, last name on last name, and so on. So let's get started. So here on Power Me Desktop, after creating a new flow, we will be here on this window. And so the first thing that we'll do is read the data from our file to then be able to use it during automation and fill the data on the farm fields. So to read Excel file here on PowerMe Desktop, first we need to open Excel instance to then be able to interact with Excel file. So to open Excel instance, let's use the action launch Excel. And now here we want to launch our Excel file that we have downloaded. So here let's choose the option and open the following document. And now let's here select our file. So let's select it. And we got here the path to our file. So let's store the path in a variable. So Let's copy the path and now let's use the action set variable to create and store a value on the variable. And so here in the variable name, let's set Excel path, for example, and let's paste here the path to our file. And now here on the launch Excel, let's replace here the path that we have to our variable that has so the value that is the path to the farm. So that isn't really needed, but it's a best practice to not leave so hard coded the path uh, directly on the action. So it looks better by this way. So now here uh, we can uh, move on. So to the next step. So now let's click on save. And so after opening Excel instance, we can interact with Excel file. So in our case, we want to read the data from it. So here we can see a lot of Excel actions by searching for Excel. So the one that we'll use to read the data from Excel file will be the read from Excel worksheet. So now here we have to select what we want from the Excel file. So uh, here, let's select the option values from a range of cells. And now we have to indicate the range that we want to read from the file. So here we want to read from the column A to the column G and from the row 1 to the row 11. So here start column K, start row 1 and column G and then row 11 as we can see here. So now uh, in advanced, uh, here we can see the option first line of range contains column names. So, so because it's true, as we can see here, the first line, the first row has the column names. Let's here check. And now uh, we can see here that will be created the variable Excel data. So it will be a data table that will have the data of our Excel file. So we here we can change also the variable name if you want. So let's move on to the next step. Let's click on save. So after reading the Excel file, we can close the Excel instance by using the close Excel action. 
So let's run the automation to see if it works well. So uh, let's click on run here. So here on this side, on the right side, uh, on the variables panel, here on Excel data, we can see that we have 10 rows and seven columns. And if we do double click, we can see the data stored on our data table. And as we can see, we got the data from our Excel file. So it's working well. So what's the next step? After getting the data from our file, we want to open the browser on the form. So then we can fill the data of our data table on the form fields. So to open the browser here on actions, let's search for launch new. And here we can see the different browsers that we can automate on Power Automate Desktop. So the one that we will use will be the launch new Chrome. But if you want, you can use another browser. So let's here launch a new Chrome instance. So it will open the Google Chrome. So let's leave this option selected. And now here, initial URL, we need to indicate the URL to our form. So it's available on the resources on the description of this video. So uh, let's here store the URL on the variable. So let's use the set variable action. And now here variable, so let's define the variable name to form URL. And now value, let's paste so the URL to the form. And now here on the launch new Chrome action, by doing double click, let's select here our variable that will provide the URL. Now here, Windows tape, let's select maximize it to be sure that the window will be maximized. And now let's click on save. So if you run now the automation, it will read the data from the Excel file and launch the browser on the farm page. And as we can see here was launched the Chrome browser on our phone. So after reading the data from the Excel file and launching the browser on the farm page, the next step is to create the loop for each row of our Excel file. So we want to iterate, create a loop, a cycle for each row that we have on our data table. And so for each row, we will fill the form fields with the data from the iterated row, and then we will submit the form. So uh, to create a loop, let's here on action search for the action for each. And so this action allows us to iterate over the rows of power data table in our case. So here on value to iterate, we need to select our data table variable. And so here the current item will represent each row iterated on the cycle. So now inside of this cycle, we want to execute the actions that will fill the data on the farm fields and then submit the form. So to populate text on the farm field, on the field, let's here on actions, uh, search for the action populate. And here we can see to populate actions, the one that we use is the one from web farm filling that it's more adequate to our case. So let's rock it inside of our each cycle. And so first we need to indicate the Y helmet where we want to populate text. So to indicate it, let's here add a Y helmet. And so uh, let's open our form. And as it says here to indicate the Y helmet, we need to press control and then left mouse click. So here let's start by the first name field. So let's now press control and then left click. And so we have indicated the Y helmet. Now we have to indicate the text to input on the helmet. So will be the text 
uh, that will be on the row iterator. So let's start by selecting the current title and then to input only the first name. So let's just open here our Excel file. So on the field first name, we want only to input the first name value. So how we can do it here, let's open brackets, open quotes, and inside of the quotes, let's indicate the name of the column related to the value that we want to populate on the first name field. So here it's a column first name. So let's copy the column name and paste it inside of the quotes. And by this way, will be entered, will be populated the value related to the first name column. So now let's click here on save and let's do the same for the other fields. So uh, now we need to use one populate action field for each field that we have on our form. So let's add another Y element. And let's indicate the last name field. And so here it's the same logic. First, let's get the row and then let's indicate the common name of the value that we want to populate on the field. So it's the last name common name. So let's paste and let's save. So uh, let's here, here I enter two quotes before the common name. So let's remove one and let's see if it works well. So we can now uh, close the Excel file, close the browser and let's run the automation. And as we can see, was inserted the values on the two fields. So we can move on now to the other fields. So now uh, let's drag another populate and let's indicate another Y helmet. Now the company name. And so same logic. Let's open brackets, quotes. And in fact, we can copy this to paste on the other actions. So now we need to get the common name. So let's get it. So it's company name. Let's save. Let's get the next one. Let's replace the common name. Let's go to the next one. Atlas. Let's get the common name. Let's write another one. So let's scroll and indicate the email field. So let's indicate now the current item, open brackets, quotes, and then let's indicate the common name inside of the quotes. And then in last, let's indicate the phone number field, the last one. Current item, and then let's indicate so the common name of the phone number. And let's save. So at this moment, if we run automation, it should populate each field of the form. So let's see if it works as expected. Let's close 
and let's run the automation. And as we can see, it's working as expected. So uh, we can now uh, stop. So uh, what's uh, the next step? So after populate each field of the form, we want to submit so uh, the form so by clicking on the submit button. So to click on the submit button here on actions, let's search for press. And here we can see uh, two actions press button. The one that we use, it's the one from web form filling. So let's drag this action after the last popular text fill on web page action. And now we have to indicate the button. So let's click here on add white helmet. And so let's indicate here uh, the button. So let's see if it submitted the form. So let's run. And as you can see, was uh, submitted the form. So uh, we can see that after submit, it appears this page. So to insert the data of the next row, we should click here on submit another response. So the automation will be able to insert the data of the next row. So to click here on this link, this is basically a link. We can use the action. So here let's search for link and uh, let's use the action click link on the web page. So it's the duplicated action, click on the link. So let's drag it after the press button. And so let's indicate the Y helmet. So let's indicate it and let's save. So let's see if it runs well from the beginning to the end. So let's close and let's run the automation. As we can see, it seems it failed to click here on the link. So uh, let's see better here our actions. So I may have indicated uh, not in the best way. So I will indicate again the white helmet. So let's indicate it. let's save so let's try another time so let's run and now it worked and as we can see the automation it's inserting the data of the next row so it's been created a loop for each row of power data table and so for each row it will submit the data of the row on our form so now uh, let's just wait a bit and so the automation ended successfully so it worked well so if you like this tutorial Please give a thumbs up so it really helps the channel and the video to reach to more people. And also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you will get notified on each tutorial that I publish here on my channel. So that's all and I'll see you on the next tutorial.